Hi, welcome back to Smart Mom, October's monthly online timeout video. Happy Halloween, by the way. In case you haven't noticed, we're playing dress up today and getting ready for this weekend. Saturday, we're doing the Zoo Boo Bash. I hope to see some of you there. Now, if any of you were watching the last month's video, we talked about going to get our dental work done at the dentist. Uh, my title was Don't Stress the Dentist. And I know that's everybody's big problem when they go there, whether you have a disability or not. But this time, I wanted to touch base on something I had mentioned in that video. And if any of you were really paying attention and watched the entire video, you would have noticed that I had a technique I used with Dustin called the Tucker Cow Countdown. Now, even my own mother called me up asking, what on earth is that? So, that's why I'm having this video. I'm touching base on that. Now, we haven't had fully any success with that. However, we're still working on it, and I'm optimistic that... Hello, Bobby. Everybody remember her? Um, Bobby, get out. Be nice. Anyway, back to where we were. If any of you were watching that, uh, you'd notice that we were already talking about the Tucker Cow Countdown. And Dustin is a self-hand uh, biter. Um, when he gets a little uh, agitated or upset, he tends to bite. And it's always the one hand. Now, we've tried gloves, and we still use those as a reinforcement just so it doesn't get worse. But um, I, I want that behavior just to fade out. So I'm trying to work on something to get him distracted enough to where he'll stop biting it and think of a happy thought instead of a frustrating thought. So, on that note, can I see Bugs for just one second? And we're going to take the hand. Can we show him your hand where you get your boo-boo? Can I see it? You're so scary today. Now, today is a good day, actually. You can see it's a bit calloused. Um, this is normal for this, unfortunately, after years of biting his hand. Now, on some days... Ah! What? No. Bobby has no fear of Dustin anymore, which is a good thing. She's still a good therapy cat. But anyway, we're going to get back to um, the Tucker Cow Countdown. Um, that is basically based on a movie that Dustin found um, called this. Zoom. It came out in 2006. Quite the old movie. But um, it's a good one. It's a Tim Allen movie. And um, we... Um, found out that Dustin really took to that. Um, he actually got the joke, which most of these kids don't. Um, so, kind of a positive oh thought gosh. there. Maybe they're not doing that now and understanding and misinterpreting certain things that aren't funny or are funny. It will come. you got to practice at it. Just like well, I remember the first time I had the diagnosis, the doctor said, oh, your son will never pretend. Well, looks like pretending to me, and I encourage it. Encouraging it so much that please, this Saturday, if you show up with me, I expect to have you in costume. Not just your child. This is mandatory, yeah, by the way. Stop. It's a time for you Go to get in touch with your inner child. What did I tell you? I said, stop. Like, stop. Be nice. be nice. So, we're going to go ahead and get on with um, our Tucker Cow Countdown example. But I wanted to show you first what he actually saw. So, I'm going to show you a little clip of what he actually sees. Um, we've coordinated this basically as... Instead of feeling sad and biting, we're going to go to a happy place. And we do a 10-9 all the way down countdown and say, Tucker, put the cow back. And, of course, you'll understand what's so funny once I show you the clip. So let me just show you that. Now everybody else. Well, Very cute movie. If you have a chance to watch it, please do. Tucker, put the cow back. Now, I know that was very brief, so hopefully you caught that. In the meantime, while I have you, and I hope my best friend Amy out there and her daughter Paige are watching this video, because unfortunately my friends have had to leave me, um, and they've went back up north to uh, live with some family. So, on that note, I just wanted to say, this is Amy, this is me, we're going to miss you. And then, of course, her daughter. Um, let me see if I can't get there. They, uh, <laughs> I know they tend to go with us to a lot of these events. This is at the actual last Boo Bash we all went to and had a great time. This is Paige, who, 
as you can see, is one of Dustin's best friends. Um, they practically grew up together, and we're so sad to see them go. But just wanted to let them know that we were still thinking of them, and they're still in our hearts, and we'll want to see them soon. So, anyway, getting back, um, we also have the walk coming up. And um, if any of you have gone to the website, you can always sign up for the Smart Mom team. That is in less than two weeks. Um, I'd really like to see some more people on my team. It's called Team Smart Mom. You can go to Autism Speaks for the walk that's coming up November 10th at Cranesbury's Park in Altamont. So if you want to join my team, you can either go there or you can go to my blog at www.awaythroughautism.com where you can also go to the right-hand side, click on my flyer for the walk, and be able to sign up there as well. So in the meantime, um, I'm going to cut this film for a two-part film. Um, and I'm going to show you the example of the, the Tucker Cow Countdown Happy Place. So stay tuned. Okay, welcome back to Smart Moms October Monthly on Online Time Out. Now remember, strong mothers altering autism's reality together. That's what Smart Mom stands for. So if any of you have any ideas on how to alter certain behaviors that you'd like to fade out, please let me know so I can pass this information on to other moms that can find this very useful. That's the whole purpose of Smart Mom. That's what I'm talking about today, is altering Dustin's behavior from biting his hand, hopefully fading that out, to use a, a happier, positive method to reinforce instead of the, the hand biting. So we're going to give him an example. So Dustin, when we get sad and we want to bite, what do we do instead? We don't bite, we do what? Happy. We get happy. And what do we do to get happy? Tucker put the cow. Tucker put the cow back. Now I have a trampoline no, right now that actually has a happy Maybe face on it. So no, if you want to find something like that, that's great. If you don't have it, to, of course, to tote along with you, make a happy face. It's not that hard. Bring it with you. So that way, if they're out in public, you can reinforce it out in public. But at home, this is what we use. Dustin, you want to show an example? Ready? Now happy is where we need to be. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Tucker, put the cow back. Tucker, put the cow back. Hey, hey. Oh, my goodness. And we need to do it again? Ow. No. It's okay. So we don't want to be Why? sad. Why? Why? So we don't want to be hey. sad. We want to be happy. Let's get happy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Tucker, put the cow back. Tucker, put the cow back. Now, how do you feel? Happy. Happy. Okay, so we made good choices. We made good choices by what? Yes, happy, good choices. Getting happy. Okay, so that is our example. And like I that said, if you it. have any examples of yeah, your own, yeah. then please share them with us. And don't forget the That's walk. Great. We really want to see some of you out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom, I even have a t-shirt saying Smart Mom Team. So wouldn't you like one of those? If not, you can always get them at my website. Check it out. Um, in the meantime, hopefully I'll see some of you Saturday, 10 o'clock, Zubu Bash. In the meantime, I will see you next month, which you will want to check that out. I have a video call from Santa Claus. Great reinforcement. You don't want to miss it. See you so later. We will see you later. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.